Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Monday the 11th of March 2019 and we're asking the question, will gold ever be used to support or back a world currency? Last year we published a video for Inner Sanctum members entitled Why Silver Will Never Be Used to Support a World Currency and we reissued this video to all members just less than a week ago and it received over 10,000 views so far which is an excellent viewing for our videos in that period of time. We then again last year asked the question in another video to Inner Sanctum members whether the same applies to gold. Well this video will condense what we produced before and bring it right up to date to March 2019. So here goes. Will gold ever be used to support or back a world reserve currency? Well, in terms of notes and coins in circulation, there are approximately $7.6 trillion in existence. In terms of all bank, deposit accounts and notes and coins, the figures rise to $90.4 trillion. In terms of derivatives, using low-end approximations, we have some $554 trillion, though some analysts and economists believe this figure to be twice this, but we shall use this low-end figure for now. So all in all, we're looking at covering approximately $850 trillion by gold or some other medium. Okay, so first question. How much above ground gold exists on the earth? Well, the World Gold Council estimates that all the gold ever mined totals 187,200 metric tons in 2017. But other independent estimates vary by as much as 20%. Well, this equates to a little over 6 billion ounces. And at today's price of $1,294 an ounce, this equates to around 8 trillion dollars worth. So we have eight trillion dollars worth of gold to underwrite eight hundred and fifty trillion dollars worth of money's debt and derivatives. And remember that's a conservative estimate of derivatives. Now let's not forget what we have used in this calculation. All of the gold ever mined in the world throughout its history. That not only includes coins and bars, but jewellery, ornaments, tiny particles used in electronic gadgetry, etc., etc. So for gold to cover this $850 trillion, it would have to rise in value by 106 times. In other words, gold resting around a value of approximately $137,000 an ounce. Remember, it's currently $1,300 an ounce. Now for a moment, let's take off our stacking or investing hats and put on our logical mathematical hats. And just imagine what will happen to the price of goods if gold rose by this figure. Household electronics, cell phones, watches, computers, even your teeth in some cases. Now, of course, this is just basing it on all of the gold mined in the world. If central banks and governments actually wanted to hold these gold assets within their vaults in order to back this new world currency, they would have to confiscate all of the physical gold holdings held by investors and central banks, which is currently worth approximately $3 trillion, as opposed to the $8 trillion that has been mined. So... If they use that figure to cover all derivatives, debts and monies, we are now looking at a gold price of $365,000 an ounce. Once again, this is simply not going to happen. There is no way that manufacturing industry can survive a gold price at this level, as the price of many finished goods will be beyond most people's reach. Ah... But what if all the debts and derivatives were covered by gold at a rate of 10%, which sounds more reasonable, 
Could this be achieved? Well, even at 10%, we would have to see gold at $34,000 an ounce. Again, not a likely scenario. And let's be totally frank. This is with central bank confiscation of all gold coins and bars worldwide, which is not going to happen. In addition, as with silver, we would also need to see gold come out of the ground at a rate of growth of around 3% per annum to account for GDP growth and population increases. One must then ask, how feasible is this? And for how long can it be sustained? And again, what will happen when gold eventually runs out? We are already hearing, some stating, that we've reached peak gold already. So what do we do when supply disappears, working on the principle that they are right? So the likelihood of the world adopting a gold-backed currency is extremely slim. However, we can foresee some countries adopting a partial-backed gold currency. And of course, if there was an economic reset and all debts and derivatives were written off, then a new currency could be formed with a limited level of gold backing. However, the carnage that such a debt jubilee or reset would cause, no one could accurately predict the outcome of or its consequences. As fund values holding these derivatives as, as some form of asset would indeed collapse. And those relying on pensions and investments from holding those assets could indeed suffer considerably. The natural response to this argument, of course, is the question, well, why are central banks buying or even holding gold? Well, the answer, frankly, is that in the event of a currency meltdown, its own currency meltdown, it is one of the few commodities that could be exchangeable with other countries for credit or goods. But if you look at the levels of central bank holdings, central bank gold holdings, they are pitiful when compared to the amount of currency they have in circulation, let alone the level of debt instruments they are obligated to repay. It is feasible, and just feasible, that one day a new system will be introduced, more like a crypto-type currency or a certain digital currency, perhaps based on blockchain technology, or an off-the-wall atomic-type currency, which will have some element of gold and or basket of commodity backing. But we would venture once again, this would likely be a relatively low percentage and would over time, like all fiat currencies, find the need to accelerate its growth increase and eventually, ultimately collapse or fail. In conclusion, whilst we do not believe that silver will ever be used to back a world reserve currency, even though it is accepted as a currency alternative in some US states and a few minor economies, Please see our recent video on this as to exactly why. The possibility of gold doing so does exist, or at least has more potential. However, there would either have to be an economic reset with a considerable debt jubilee occurring, or only a partial back system, e.g. 10% being implemented. Or perhaps only notes and coins being included, which we doubt will happen, as the world is moving ever closer to a cashless society. With this in mind, we're not negating the need for anyone to hold gold or to suggest that central banks won't continue to accumulate it, but we must put it into perspective. Gold currently stands at just shy of $1,300 an ounce. It is estimated that there is enough gold in 200 cell phones to make a gold ring weighing approximately 0.2 of an ounce. This suggests that in each mobile phone, there is approximately $1.30 worth of gold at $1,300 an ounce. At $365,000 an ounce, we're now looking at each phone holding $365 worth of gold. Can you imagine what you would pay for each phone if that were to happen? And that's an item holding an absolutely tiny amount of gold in its structure. Imagine what a gold filling would cost or a new computer. Does not take much imagination as to the viability of such a system being adopted. As much as we would all like to see gold prices rise so that our gold holdings appreciate in value, 
We also have to be realistic. And whilst we believe long term gold is a great and sensible asset to hold, we are also not expecting to buy a 300 foot yacht with the modest amount that we hold. And frankly, neither should you. Unless your holdings are considerably more than modest, of course. So, we hope you keep this in perspective. And if you disagree, then by all means state why. And if you find any flaw in our argument, by all means highlight it. We shall be interested to read it and respond accordingly. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.